Badger back with another build video for you, and you're going to enjoy this one, man. You're going to see clips throughout all of this showing you how the build performs in PvP. For those of you guys that are in group play or solo or new to conflict or have been playing conflict for a long time, even you DZ guys that are looking for something new to run for your squad, this is that build for you. You got two options here when it comes to weapon types. You can either go with the Ouroboros, which I think is a great fit for this particular build, but those of you guys that want to be a bit extra cheesy to get back at those guys that are camping in cover, spamming skill builds, fire, stinger hive, iron log, then you can go with iron log and keep your team alive and also setting them on fire as well because one thing about people within this game, they love to dish out status effects, but at the same time, they have no immunity to it. This is that build that's going to counter that and all of the crap that they like to do in camping in the spawn. And the reason I'm going with the Ouroboros is because, like, when they hit me with a particular status, I take that and hit them back with it. <laughs> so it's like, you're giving, you take, right? So you better be able to take it with this particular build. Now, as you can see, we're using three-piece Cavalier and the Ninja Bike Messenger. And the way we have this set up, which is why I also said you can go with the Iron Lung because we're also using the Contractor and we're benefiting from that 8% damage to armor. With the SMG, you don't really benefit from the 10% LMG damage, of course. So if you want to go iron long, go for that. And as you can see, this is how we have it rolled. Armor, has a protection. We got lucky finding this particular bad boy, but if you don't have it, it does not matter. Let's explain the Ninja Bike Messenger for you guys that are new to the game. Where this bag in PvP, I'm going to show you what it does. Now, with the Ninja, it unlocks unique bonuses for you. We got on three-piece cab, but it's also giving me the four-piece bonuses gloves give me that 10 percent lmg damage and 15 percent weapon handling for my chest plate is giving me 10 percent critical hit chance and 10 percent hazard protection it's unlocking the first brand set bonuses and second for me and if you have on three it unlocks all four even though you have on three Get up and explain that to you so you guys can understand now with three piece cap at piece you're getting 30 percent hazard protection three piece you're getting 40 percent repair skills i don't know why they added that there i think that's the most stupid it does nothing of course four piece you're getting charging for each second spent out of cover doing combat, agents will get 5% reduced incoming skill damage, max 50. And it also says at the bottom, charge. While fully charged, you gain immunity to any movement speed debuff and share this with all agents. So you're also going to share your hazard protection, incoming skill damage reduction with all allies for 10 seconds. After charge is consumed, charging buff will resume if still in combat and out of cover. So if you're out of cover and you're in combat, you're going to be getting that buff for you and your teammates. And by that, I'm just going to show you guys what you also need. So for my protection here, I'm sending that 90% hazard protection and 100% burn resistance, of course. So that is how you need to have this particular setup. Now, if you want to have it at 80, that's fine. It's entirely up to you. If you want to have a bit more crit damage and stuff, it's your choice, your preference, what you want to do. But I think this is the way that it should be set up. Personally, I feel that this is how you need to do it. Now, you're not going to be the damage guy within your group. You're not going to be out there face tanking, dropping bodies. You need to be within the middle of combat, strafing, shooting. Whenever you get a chance, shoot, 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 shoot. That's your job. You shoot them, allow them to focus you while your damage guys are behind you shooting them. You're just damage over time support. And you will get kills with this bill. You will get them. I promise you. I'm sitting at 51% critical hit chance, like I said, and 103 critical hit damage and 8% armor damage. The pieces that we have here, as you can see, armor, hazard, burn, resistance there, 10% mod. We got hazard protection there, 12% crit damage mod here, unbreakable talent for the extra bit of survivability. But if you want to go efficient, then definitely do so. We're also running on a holster, We're running crit damage, holster, roll to armor. For the knee pads, we got armor and hazard protection. The booster hive needs to be on your setup. So when charge is on cooldown, you can drop that hive whenever a guy's like he get hit by a burn sticky. You can stop that and stop them from dying. We also run a defender drone here just to help us within that battle because dudes, red bills are always trying to hit us. So this is just for a bit extra survivability, of course. The reason I'm using firewall is because when those guys are camping in their spawn and I got the signature weapon ammo, I can just simply run in there and set them on fire because they like to camp with stinger hives at the front but this is what i got set up here man this is the build this is what we're working with and i hope you guys enjoy it just as well as i have this is bad signing out and i'll see you in the next one be breezy i'm out